Hello, thank you for joining me. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the Paint Tool. The Paint Tool is a tool that you'll find on, on the, the Manage tab in a ribbon. So if you click on the Modify tab, I'm sorry, not the Manage tab, but the Modify tab. If you click on the Modify tab and go to the Geometry palette, you'll see this icon in here called Paint. And of course, if you just like all the other, many of the other icons, if you just uh, hover your mouse over that, it gives you a little video and displays what you can be doing with the Paint, uh, paint option. So this is how it works in a nutshell. What it does is it puts on a dimensionless coating of a, of a material, and it doesn't necessarily have to be paint, it could be something else. But um, it puts on that uh, material and the colors associated with that material on that wall surface, but it doesn't add any d additional material or dimensions to your, to your drawing. So let's, just for the demonstration of this, let's go ahead and click on that. You notice know, so it opens up our material library and we can apply all sorts of materials to this. If we desire to uh, do something other than paint, we can do that. So it isn't just confined to paint. If we want to do carpet or ceramic tile, we can do that. And just for demonstration, let's go ahead and take our, uh, our exterior wall and apply a ceramic tile uh, finish to it. It comes with the stock item here, which is blue color. We just click on that. We want to make sure it's selected in there so it's blue. And since our paint uh, tool is already selected off of our modify tab and our ribbon, we just have to click on it. Click on that wall, and now it's a blue tile. We'll uh, zoom in on it, and you can see see how that changes. This is uh, convenient in some respects. It's convenient because uh, if we wanted to have a um, you know, take a, a wall type, like maybe an internal wall, and have a different wall color other than what uh, would be uh, defined, like what we did in our project, where we defined a very specific customer color for the customer area. You may want to have a different wall color for areas like where the bathroom is. Maybe on one side you want to have a customer color, but on the other side you want to have a color that's associated with, a, you know, maybe a bathroom or a storeroom or a kitchen area. So it does have its applications. For like an exterior wall, it may not be as practical to do something like that. You want the, the exterior wall of a building like of a, on a commercial project to be fairly consistent. So it does have some applications. You can uh, pick and choose which one you want to do, whether you want to take a custom wall and make custom walls for all of your walls or some of the walls or apply the paint option to some of the walls after you make custom walls. It's up to you how you want to do that. So one thing you're going to have to do if you want to have a specific color and what I don't have in regard to the inside of the building is a specific color for like a, a blue wall on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Manage tab, go to Materials, we want to create a new material. So make sure your Material tab is selected over here and scroll down to Paint and Coatings. Paint and Coatings. Go inside of this, and what you want to do at this point is you don't want to override what's existing out there. You want to create something new. I've already created two uh, custom uh, coatings already, orange and red. I'm going to go ahead and create another one. So we're going to go to duplicate, paints and coatings, and we're going to call this blue. Make sure your cap locks are off. Just follow the same uh, naming nomenclature. It's already there with capital letters for each individual name, except for you know, kind of like the title, the way you would do in a title. But anyways, go to OK, and now we want to change our colors. You want to make sure you go to the Appearance tab, and from Color, we're going to go and pick uh, the stock item that uh, looks like a very vivid blue, and then go to OK. Now we're going to go in, inside of our building, so to, to figure out where we want to go, I'm going to go to my floor plan, and I'm going to pick a, a wall type. We'll go to this section and pick a wall type. Right now we're on the hidden lines uh, visibility, we want to change that to realistic. So we see what the wall colors are. We have kind of a like, like, like red or a, a, a pink color for the walls. I'm going to go ahead and change this. So all you have to do, just like we demonstrated before, go to the Modify tab, go to the Geometry panel, pick Paint. We're going to pick the paint color that we like. And when we go to the, our palette up here, we can uh, di differentiate what we want to look for. And all we want to do is go to the different paint options. Paints and coatings blue. I'm going to click that. That's the one I just created. And just click on the wall. It makes that wall blue. It makes this wall blue too. Now I'm going to demonstrate one more thing. It gives you a little bit more in a way of flexibility. A lot of times there's two different kinds of paints on a wall, usually separated by uh, uh, you know, a line of a specific dimension. You can do that here too. And the way you would do that is you get to the split tool, the split element, and we're going to split this wall. It allows us to split that wall. It's an interior wall, and you'll notice 
that if you click on that, you can get the upper part of the wall and you can get the lower part of the wall. And what I'm trying to do is uh, with the tab key, I'm going to try to select the lower part of the wall and I'm going to put a dimension on it, I'm going to change the dimension so you can get that uh, at a specific height. So instead of 8 feet, I'm going to go ahead and make that, or in 10 feet, I'm going to make a, go ahead and make that 8 feet. So it really isn't apparent right now that it's two different walls. The walls actually split both in the front and the back. But if I go back to the paint tool and demonstrate this one more time, differentiate this, uh, just uh, choose paint all by itself. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to pick my uh, codings, paints and codings. I'm going to pick the orange color that I created. And I'm going to apply that to the bottom part of the wall. So it's blue on top, orange in the bottom. This one I didn't split the wall, so it makes the whole wall orange. And that pretty much shows it. So it gives you a little bit more in a way of flexibility in regard to painting your walls and applying materials to your walls. And uh, just to reiterate, it doesn't add any dimensions or additional material to it. It just changes the color and the coating on it. So thank you for joining me. Stay tuned.